everybody welcome back to angry badger minis working on Krieg deathcore um we're mostly working on well we're basically done with the command squads right now uh other than uh dealing with some like little pouches and things like that um i have went ahead and put their e-tools on and stuff like that and of course i'm paying attention to the fact that some of these guys you know if they don't have a bayonet affixed uh fix their weapon you know, I'm putting the e-tool that has the bayonet attached with it uh, on them. Um, of course, you also have guys like the melta guns and the plasma guns that you're not going to put a bayonet on that. So they just get a regular e-tool with no bayonet. Um, but we've done, you know, melta, plasma, uh, vox operator, uh, the uh, platoon commander, I guess. Um, I have... What I'm working on right now is I'm working on these grenade launcher guys. I have one already done and I have some others slated for that. But what I'm basically working on right this second is these guys with the flamethrowers. Now, the way that they show it in or on Forge World, they use the same model as the grenadier here. But I don't want to use that one. Um, hold on, let me... See if I can tone down my light here a little bit. Might make things a little bit easier to see. I think so. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, so yeah, but I didn't want that. I wanted a more aggressive kinetic pose. So I chose this guy. And I don't think we're going to have any problems. We shouldn't have any problems. I mean, it's just literally you know arms that go on shoulders so we've got four of those guys with the flamethrowers um we also of course have our you know these uh you know standard bearers or what have you um still might still might be too much light but uh you know this is essentially what we're working on right now let me see if i can zoom in a little bit more also had to do a um, an OSB plugin uh, update, so or OBS OSB <laughs> OSB is a, is a type of plywood. But anyway, um, yeah, so that's what we're working on basically. Uh, what I'm having to do first, firstly, um, I do need some extra light here, is I'm having to scrape away at the resin here a little bit, and I'm being careful because to be honest with you. Um, since, you know, I'm not sanding, so I shouldn't, you know, it's not necessarily dust particles so much as it's, you know, pieces of resin. So I'm keeping my distance as far as that's concerned. Um, and, uh, hold on, I had adjusted my camera here, so I apologize. Let me get that adjusted as well. I've been working on my settings as well. Oops. That's not what I wanted to have happen. There we go. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm scraping it, scraping in here to get some contact uh, as best that we can. Um, Everything is, of course, washed, so all the, the mold release is off of there. And, um, you know, I'm thankful for that. That was... That was a chore for these guys. I am nowhere near done with the army with washing, though. I've got uh, four jars down here with an earth earth shaker battery um, in each, well, in three of them, and then I've got all of the uh, cavalry in one, and then I've got, you know, I've got command squads, quartermasters, commissars tanks all kinds of stuff that we got to put together um but that you know have resin pieces that uh are all gonna need um you know they're gonna need some attention so but this is what we're working on right now um had some had a lot of fun yesterday or last you know late early this morning with the necker monday game i'm looking forward to getting back to that um I kind of wish I could do it more on my PC, but it looks like we're stuck on the PlayStation for now. 
but uh, other than the blue screen of death that happened last night we don't really have any issues or didn't really have any issues and I mean it's just released I'm sure they're getting beat up with you know bugs and everything else and they'll they'll fix it I'm sure I mean you know no game is perfect these days and uh, I'm not you know I'm not sitting here necessarily giving that a pass but judging by what they've done in the past with uh, with Deathwing um, I'm confident that they'll they'll put some stuff in there uh, I would say that for um, oh my gosh I just martyrs martyrs end is that it martyrs something whatever the the place is that you do your missions all that stuff I felt that that was and, and this may change you know over time but I felt that Martyr's End, or whatever it's called, um, I felt that it was a little empty, um, you know, compared to what we saw in the trailers and, and things like that. Um, but again, I mean, it may be something, you know, like uh, I'm trying to think of the game that I, you know, that I play. Um, almost like, you know, as you progress you know the the area progresses as well you know with shops or you know people or whatever um just not not real sure about it at the moment and i wonder if there's ever going to be co-op in that or not I, I don't remember hearing anything about it but um yeah, boy glue and resin together is no easy or no fun task that's for sure and just, just to put it in perspective, uh, we have, oops, let me back this out. We have um, uh, 80, you know, 80 infantry, just straight up infantry. So that we have to deal with. Let me move this over some. Hopefully I'm not making you guys seasick. But, uh, Gluing resin has its challenges, that's for sure. But yeah, I mean, you know, it's pretty, it's a pretty fast paced game. Um, I'm not sure that I like, you know, thinking about it, I'm not sure I particularly enjoy the fact that I've got to get right up in somebody's face to get my health replenished. Um, it doesn't make any sense to me how any hired gun mercenary or anything like that would take those kinds of risks, you know what I mean? But, you know, Maybe they'll patch something in the you know in the future, or you know maybe it'll you know there'll be a, a bigger or greater distance involved or something like that. Because right now I think you got to be way too close. I think it's uh, I don't know. I mean, it's feel like you'd be you'll be burning through med packs like crazy, you know, uh, on stems and everything else. Um, but maybe that's maybe that's part of it. They want to grind or something. I don't know. While I was waiting on that to download, I actually, oh my goodness, I actually booted up, um, I booted up Destiny 2, just for the heck of it, just to see what was going on. Man, I am so lost in that game now. I mean, I, you know, my, my Hunter and my Warlock, you know, they've got all their stuff from before, but I haven't got the slightest clue what I'm doing. I couldn't even figure out how to crouch down, um, just ridiculous and uh, needless to say it brought back a lot of bad memories from Destiny 1 where or I mean rather the transition from Destiny 1 to Destiny 2 and I did actually uh, enjoy Destiny 1 quite a bit um, what I didn't enjoy was uh, Luke Smith if you guys know who that idiot is um, he's you know the main developer there Bungie absolute lack of integrity in this individual i mean i was never more invested in a game 
probably ever than I was in Destiny, you know, Destiny 1. And I, th I think I've mentioned this before, but I mean, man, I mean, we're doing podcasts, we're doing, you know, all kinds of things and turn around and, you know, you got this guy promising the world to people. You got the bungee ninjas out there, you know, moderating every, anything, anything and everything anybody said that was negative about the game, you know, booting people left and right. I mean, it was ridiculous. And it, uh, I mean, censorship at its finest. But, um, yeah, I mean, you know, you kind of tried to push through all that. And then the icing on the cake for me, man, was, you know, when Destiny 2 came out, all of a sudden, you know, the, uh, gosh, what, what the heck is it called? Um, <laughs> can't believe I can't remember. Um, oh, man, the, the place where, you know, you, you know, you, you get everything, your vault is, all that stuff. Man, I can't believe I can't remember what it's what it's called now. The platform, you know, where the you know, the, the traveler is and stuff. Anyway, you guys know what I'm talking about that play Destiny or whatever. But um yeah, I mean, you know, next thing you know, oh yeah, by the way, you know, it's been at the tower, that's it. The tower has been attacked and uh everything that you've ever earned, all of your special armor, your special weapons, it's all gone everything's gone it's all been blown up or whatever and now and i'll tell you what got me intrigued was my one of my son's friends has gotten into destiny 2 he wasn't you know i guess around for destiny 1 uh, and he's you know a younger kid and he's like oh man you gotta try it you know and you can get your weapons back and stuff like that and i'm like really so i go to start checking this stuff out well it's not that simple one you can't get every weapon back you don't just get them back you got to go on these quests or whatever to do this and i'm just like what you know this is this is just ridiculous and um but i was hoping for hope i was curious what it would you know what things look like and i was waiting on necromunda to you know uh hired gun to, to download so i had nothing to lose and i knew i knew if i got on warframe i'd never get off so i did not do that um i also knew if i got on deathwing i would not get off deathwing so i didn't do that I uh, just figured I'd try something that was, you know, relatively, you know, time killer-ish and something, you know, that it wasn't too invested in. So, yeah. Haven't the slightest clue how to play Destiny anymore. <laughs> I mean, I'm throwing grenades out. I mean, it was as bad as in, in Necromunda Hired Gun. I'm throwing grenades out, uh, not even meaning to, just ridiculous. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't understand how the gear works anymore. Uh, I went to equip something and it was saying you can only have one, um, uh, exotic, uh, piece of gear equipped, but I'm looking at where, you know, it looked to me like I had multiple pieces already equipped, but I don't know, maybe it was a change. And as soon as I, you know, took away that exotic, it wouldn't let me put it back. So I didn't do it. Um, I don't understand the light, you know, power and light uh, ranking anymore. Um, I'm at 1100 or something. I don't even know. I don't. I don't understand it. I remember when that was such a, a you know, a huge deal. Uh, trying to figure all that stuff out back in the day, and they kept seeing. They kept or it seemed like they kept changing it. Is what I mean to say. Um, but. Uh, yeah, it was um, a frustrating experience to say the least, for sure. But it is what it is. I'm still toying around too in my head with how I want to do. Now that you know things are different with the Astra Militarum. Um, sorry, I shifted gears back to 40k. Um, now that things are different with the Astra Militarum, uh, compared to when I bought this army, I've got to figure some things out because otherwise I'm just going to have models that just don't do anything, um, or, or no place for them. Uh, these command squads that I have, they could easily, you know, serve as, you know, for, well, I mean, I guess, I don't know. Actually, let me look at something here on 
Battle Scribe. I keep Battle Scribe up, by the way. Um, let's see here. I thought that there was something about platoons or something. Here we go, platoon commander. Let me try that real quick. Platoon commander. And it looks like that's all it is. It doesn't say that he gets any kind of command squad. Well, here's a Militarum Tempestus command squad. Well, that's the Scion, so that's not going to work for them. Uh, there's command squad. Veteran, 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 and platoon. Okay, so, no, no, wait. Is that the one I'm looking for? Uh, let me see. I feel like here. Let me get rid of this platoon commander. So command squad, there's four. And then you can have, hold on, veteran with special weapon, veteran with special weapon, <clears throat> veteran with box caster, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> last gun, let me get rid of two or three of these veterans. Uh, this guy's gonna have melt a gun, so maybe I've figured it out how it works. Um, box caster. Then we want regimental standard. Okay, tracking that. So last gun, and then it looks to me. Yeah. So then. I would just get a platoon commander and put that with him, with them, I guess. That's, hell, I don't know. It's not like, like I said, it's not like it used to be, so, and that's all as elites. Um, so anyway, basically what I'm looking at is, can I have a platoon commander along with uh, you know like basically what what I bought this from Forge World for have this command squad if you will with two infantry uh, or at least you know two infantry squads you know with them because we have eight infantry squads or do I break down some of the infantry squads and turn around and try to make them into some more engineers uh, or something like that. That's what I'm. That's what I'm kind of leaning towards. Actually, is more engineers. Um, I only have one, one squad, and the reason that I'm, I think I even had planned on that because I have over here, I have these, um, this Krieg equipment set, and inside this equipment set there are mines, handheld mines, you know, uh, or you know, call them charges, call them whatever you want, but uh, it's right here. Sorry. Um, you know, I could, you know, I could potentially use that, you know, so there, there's some other Vox gear in here. There's some turrets, some knives, grenades, uh, I mean, not turrets, uh, round, like an auto cannon, uh, you know, drum. So yeah, I think I might've been thinking that. So, but, uh, We'll get these these grenadiers put together here. I'm trying to figure out where the heck they came from. I mean, they must have came from a squad, but if that's the case, well, it doesn't make any sense because I don't have any more. Um, oh, you know what? We've got three flame or four flamethrowers and th four of these guys that's right okay so we've got the squad firing and the squad advancing and that's probably what it is so they were different so like the grenadiers are probably from the firing squad and the, the other guys are from the advancing squad oops we need to uh, do some scrapage here Let's see. 
Yeah, that makes more sense now. But I mean, grenades are assault too, I believe. So, I don't see how that would really matter. Hold on, guys. Let's figure out why this is not. Oh, it's not focused because it's focused on my finger and not the model. Sorry about that. This might be a little more challenging than I thought. Do I look like a dentist yet? Picking away. You know, you're just gonna have to bear with me, guys. Matter of fact, instead of autofocus. Boy, that's bad, ain't it? Alright, that looks better. Okay, yeah, that looks better. Yeah, I was doing all that work with that mask on before, man. Holy smokes, man, that was messing me up. The mask was too tight, or what the deal was, but I was getting some serious headaches. Good. And I'm going to go back, you know, I mean, once we prime all these dudes up and stuff, I'll go back and hit all the mold lines and things like that. But again, we've got a ton of armies to get to. And I wanted to do something that I was going to really enjoy. And other than glue and resin to resin, I do enjoy it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, um, you know, it is what it is. Let's see here. I think I put glue there, I did, and then we'll put this here, because his arm came right up underneath there like that. That's the other thing I've been doing too to help me with this resin nonsense is I've been looking for ways to glue, uh, you know, glue these models in such a way that I can duplicate that the entire time. And I'm sure when I go to painting and or cleaning up and stuff like that, I'm gonna run into problems where I may accidentally or you know have to or something breaks off and I may have to re-glue it or something like that. But we'll we'll get through it, no problem. I mean, this right here, you know, judging by what I've got here. Um, the bulk of the infantry and these command squads I mean this is you know this is really probably the hardest that it's gonna be because the rest are you know heavy weapons teams and things like that I don't think it's gonna be that difficult now the earth shaker cannons once they're done being washed I gotta actually put those in hot water and bend them back because they're they're actually they got a curve you know sorry a little curve to them uh, towards the end so I've got to gotta fix those but that's you know how it goes with resin sometimes so let's see here all right you'll notice I've got a backpack on this guy because I had gotten, a, gotten ahead of myself in the very beginning but that's okay we were just excited is all
how many of you out there bought Necromunda hired gun? Or are you waiting on bug fixes and things like that? Sorry, get rid of those pieces so they're not lingering around. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of extra glue right there on that edge of the shoulder. Maybe. <laughs> All right. So while those are gluing, we're going to go ahead and finish off. Well, I need to do some bending right here. If I can carefully bend this flamethrower. We'll be in good shape. Don't want to snap it off, but don't want to go out of my way either to have to heat up some water right now. I just want to get this going. too bad Like we didn't quite get a, a seal here with the glue on the wrist very well. That's okay. And I'm I'm convinced. I don't know when it'll be, but I'm convinced that judging by all of the stuff that is out of stock online and uh, what's the word that they use? Hold on, I'll tell you right now. Uh, well, they've got temporarily out of stock, but um, let me pull this up. I'm convinced basically that GW will be um, bringing the death core of Krieg to plastic. Um, I'm, I'm convinced of this. The let's see. I want to I want to tell you what this says. Um, man, so much of this stuff is. I mean, there's literally almost nothing left. Uh, of the Krieg online that is not out of stock. So, when it says temporarily out of stock, or I'm sorry, when it says no longer available, that's when I'm like, what? You know, now some of this stuff is, you know, that it's bundle related, um, but some of it's not. And, uh, I mean, the heavy bolter team is no longer available. The auto cannon team is no longer available. The actual command HQ squad is no longer available. The Krieg infantry squad that's at ease, you know, just hanging out, they're no longer available. The Krieg Mars alpha pattern demolisher, uh, the alpha pattern Lehman Rust with modified riser pattern turret. Uh, I mean, there's just you know the 
heavy artillery carriage with Medusa siege gun, um, the mortar team, the heavy artillery crew, the las cannon team, the death rider ride master, death rider three, the weapon set, the thud gun crew, the engineers of mole launcher, you know, the command upgrade set. None of this stuff, none of this stuff exists anymore. Uh, it's crazy. I, I just, I don't even understand why, you know, really. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Another thing that I've noticed too, is that when I look at my Krieg, they look like some of them have a regular gas mask, you know, but then some have like a death gas mask which is pretty cool but that's not that's not what I have um, so I don't know if that was new you know or what excuse me yeah I don't know but anyway all right so actually I needed to pull those pictures up anyway because I need to see how that's how I'm kind of having to put this stuff together too guys is I'm uh going back and referencing the pictures now I do have you know I'll obviously instruction manuals and stuff like that but um either I'm too lazy to pull it out or I don't know what the problem is but uh, and then again I'm saving all of all of these you know these pieces for rubble and stuff like that so they've got their own bag Something that they did was they put the entrenching tool, oops, sorry, entrenching tool and bayonet on the side right there. I didn't do that with mine. I put it on the back, you know, kind of like how we would have been in World War II and stuff that makes sense. Because if you don't, all right, I guess this is not working. If you don't, um, what you end up dealing with, dude, come on with the autofocus, what the heck? There we go. If you don't, I mean, honestly, and I'm telling you, this would be completely irritating if it was hanging off your side trying to run with that thing. And if you fell on it, you could potentially break your hip. So it didn't make any sense why they did that. No one would do that. Not, not in real life. I mean, I guess for the purposes of being able to, you know, get to the, the, the pack and paint the pouches and stuff like that. But again, that just doesn't make any sense to me. Here we go. The flamer guy. Uh, flamer canister. Well, that's already on there. So, that doesn't really help me understand how to put this together at all. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm guessing 
this looks like it goes on onto his side potentially this piece right here is a flame or canister but there's already one on there so I'm, I'm unsure what the point is here man yeah and that's that's literally all we have for the instructions huh I mean it looks like there might be something back here on his belt and I'm I'm unsure if back here there's a a backpack or not hmm. okay well let's see if we were to throw a backpack on we would be using one that was the least flammable so it would be like this one so if that went there Come on, man. If that went there, basically, then we could attach this over to the side there or over here. And then I guess this one we could. I don't know. I guess we could attach it as well. Something like that. I don't know, man. I don't know. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and put a backpack on this dude. Fill up his arm gap there a little bit. With some glue. Let's get this pack on here. And he will also get an e-tool. Or a trenching tool. But it will be the one without the... You know, without the um, bayonet attached. Let's see if we can fit that in there. Looks like we can, so that's good. And it would make sense for it to be on this side of him because if he was doing a canister change, he's gonna take his hand off the freaking, you know, his primary shooting hand off of the, the stock or anything. Okay. Now this one, I don't know, man. It doesn't doesn't make any sense putting it on there with this giant wick or pipe or whatever so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna forego putting that on maybe we can use that somewhere else for something else or maybe we can do it later but right now it's not something that I'm interested in fooling around with so so now that guy's gonna sit over here and dry or cure whatever and I need to dig out some more of those packs like the one I just put on him um, most of these seem to have the sleeping bag or the, you know, the bag on it. There we go. So, yeah, basically I'm, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to outfit my dudes, you know, the special weapons guys and things like that, you know, the best that I can uh, with what they should have. Um, let's see. I mean, I'm sorry, where they have the same backpacks and stuff like that. So we got three here. So we need a total of six. Okay. Good. Go ahead and put a little glue on there. So 
just so it's ready. Let's pack on here. We may have to let this one sit for a second. There we go. Oops, shit. Wrong side. Okay. All right. Well, like I say, guys, this is what I'm working on right now. Still, we'll be working on the creek for some time. Um, they're coming along. It's going to take a little bit. Prep work is obviously, you know, a lot more labor intensive than your plastic models, but in the end, it's going to be worth it. So, all that said, we appreciate you guys tuning in. Hope that you'll uh, consider supporting the channel. Link is below in the description. And uh, please make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time.